I'm back. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, big smiles today. I am half missed you all. My name is Tony Darrock. Welcome to the How to Craft Network studio. Now, if you are a newbie, please let us know. We will give you a dedicated shout out. We have so many brand new followers on our YouTube channel since our debut on HSN in America. So we have lots of new American friends and we all need to make sure that we give them a dedicated shout out. Now, I do appreciate a lot of you may watch this show on catch up, but regardless, still pop a comment underneath. If you are a newbie, we will speak to you. You are part of the Stamps by Me family community now. Welcome to the channel. If you do want to enjoy the fun and the inspiration that we do offer you, you can always click that subscribe button, hit that bell, that will give you the half an hour notice. And if you like what you see or you enjoyed the show, if you would be so kind enough to pop a comment below, um, it just let us know, just lets us know that we're doing okay. And we are, we are growing so fast. Thank you so much, everyone. But I'm a bit of a giddy keeper today. I've got a few things to tell you about. So um, today I have um, been for a lovely walk with my son. It is the school holidays and we are also sorting out our next brand event, which I know you all love. So for those of you that may not know what that means, our brand event is where we have lots of fabulous other companies come here into studio and showcase their fabulous products. So it's not only me, I'm probably going to be presenting along with some others maybe, but it's an it's a opportunity for other brands who have amazing products to come and showcase them and show you what they're capable of, show you their designs, show you their makes, and they're all amazing people as well. So that is going to be on the 4th of November. So if you do want to make a note of that, 4th of November, we have a packed schedule for you all. It's been a while, and as you can appreciate, I have been chasing myself backwards. But it's sat finally sorted and we're going through the motions of sorting it out so you have a fabulous craft day with us here at Stamps By Me on the How To Craft Network studio. So excited for it, for you all, for you as much as I am myself. I get to see all of the lovely products, I get to see the excitement and that then outpours into you lovely ladies and gents at home. So it's going to be a fabulous day. I'll not tell you the guests yet, we're still putting things in place but it's going to be a super duper day and it's a Friday which is also amazing. So that's out of the way. What else have I got to tell you about? We have a weekender over on Create and Craft. So we have lots of back in stock items. So if you missed out on Quattro di Peony, it's back. If you missed out on 3D layering stencils, Bluebell, the rose, they're back. There's some new paper pads in there as well um, and lots of other goodies as well. So keep an eye out for the show times for those over on Create and Craft. You can also catch those on our website as well. So let's have some fun teas. I'm so sorry. Well, there's lots actually going on. So much going on. So much exciting stuff and so much different. So different. Stamps by me are doing different, let me tell you. I'm not telling you anything else, as you know why but different and I'm so excited to show you. So in the show today, I have set myself a challenge. Wednesday, anything goes. So let's get cracked straight on. Any questions, shout out and let me know the questions. Quick shout out, Marilyn, Amanda, Kay, Kylie, Michaela, Roxilene, Nola, um, Caroline Crafting, lots of funny names coming up here. Peapods Crafty Corner, where are you? Wendy Dello. Harold Clark, question, question. When will the wine bottle be back in stock, Tony? I actually didn't know it was out of stock, Carol, so I'll check that for you um, when I go off air. Keep an eye on that one. Um, I'm being told off by Karen to shush. I'm being shushed. Don't you worry. I can't tell you anything about it, but my gosh, you are going to see a shift in gear from Stamps By Me. So Stamps By Me is already up here, as we all know, but let me tell you, I think I could possibly touch the ceiling at some point. So exciting. Right, so let's get cracked straight on. So in today's show, I felt like I couldn't let this paper pad pass without me play, playing with it. So it's that fabulous white magic one that Sarah had on yesterday. Now, if you've got this one, then you're getting extra Brucey inspiration with this one. I know she's been on twice with it already. It's sold. She's sold so many of these. Um, so I thought, with what's left, please, can I have a play? And she's like, yes, of course. So I'm here with the last few that is remaining. And I'm going to use this as well, which is that die set that she put on at a £7 price yesterday. 
So if you missed out on this, you need to grab this. This is like an £18 day in my world, and it's on at seven something. And if you've got your points and your discounts, you're going to get it at a super price. Uh, a lovely standard font as well. So if you are watching on the website now, look below um, my live video and you will see all of the products as well. Okay, so let's have a look. Cathy, when will the pretty colours be back in stock? Anytime soon, Cathy, Rothera. I'll let you know, sweetheart, because I've got the new ones coming with them as well. So, so much good stuff. Um, when's the magazine out? Sue, good question. 18th, I think, um, I get my hands on it. So I'll be taking it to TV anytime round there as well. Uh, 18th, that is a super exciting one as well. And you're going to get some brucey things as well. Moving on. Um, this paper pad is gorgeous, isn't it just? So let's crack straight on because otherwise I'll be keeping you all day. So let's just have a quick flick because you know me, I love anything that makes me look better than I am and this paper pad and it's got wood in and I love wood, it tells a story. So let me just show you, it's got some beautiful light layered designs on here. It's just so pretty. And if you're wanting quick cards, which I'm going to show you now, I'm going to attempt to do, oh, I don't know yet, we'll see. But I'll tell you in a second. So you get lots and lots of, um, and guess what? Because you obviously get the 36 pages and there's 12 designs, I get multiples of the same design because there's nothing more frustrating when I want to decorate the envelope in the same paper, but there's only one sheet. So, and this is a super affordable price as well. You don't have to buy the one um, by the show. This is available on its own and that's what we've only got a handful left of. So if you missed out, make sure you grab this one because I don't know if Sarah will be bringing that one back. So I have a bunch of card blanks. Just little ones, these ones. I think they're A6. And then I've grabbed a bunch of my envelopes because I have hundreds of envelopes. And then I thought what we'd do is I'd put, grab my punches, a couple of my punches from underneath. So I've got my tab, my banner, I've got my corner. I have no idea where this show's going, but anything goes on a Wednesday. Remember that. And then I've got one of my tab, new tab punches. Um, so if you've got punches at home in your stash, then you're going to be good to go with this. I've also got my little mini cutting machine because my big one's still in my bag from TV. So I haven't actually drawn breath, honestly, but I'm so excited to see you all. <sighs> right, where's it going? Paper pad. So I'm going to attempt to make several note cards and coordinating envelopes quick. So if you have a paper pad at home, it doesn't have to be this one. Any pattern papers, if you want to jazz them up and make some quick note cards and envelopes to sell, or you just want some quick cards that you're going to be able to pop in a box and just add a sentimental lay that you're going to be able to do that. So first of all, I'm going to pick my paper. Decisions, decisions. Now I do like, I, I do like this one, so this one's going to be it. So let's see where it takes us. I have no idea. I have my cutter here. So if you do have papers at home, today we're going to get them used, guys. We really are. So I have my card blank. And then I might wrap them in twine and do them with a tag. You know, with our tag punch? This one. Put a nice tag on and do a little note card set or something. I have no idea yet. We'll see where it goes. Definitely need inspiration for stamping with pretty papers. Right, okay, let's see where it takes us then, Denise. So black matte and layer, and then I have that lovely, lovely stag. So I would like the stag in the corner, obviously. Now, these are super quick cards, okay? We're not going to go and make the three-dimensional flowers. We're just going to create a packet of beautiful note cards from a paper pad that's going to do all the work, basically. So I'm just going to mark this one off here. There and here. I just mark with my finger. And then I'm just going to pop it in my trimmer here. So just a little bit of an update for you. Studio 3 will be back soon and we're going to be doing lots more paper craft and painting. Okay, so if you're wondering what's happened to Studio 3, nothing's happened to Studio 3 actually. It's quite cold in there. <laughs> um, but what has happened is because I've been so busy, as you all know, you don't need me to tell you. Um, I haven't had an opportunity to get back in and enjoy the love of craft, so it's coming back. I'm, I'm sort of like feeling a little bit more human now, which is nice. I like Smith Patel, Susan Straw, lovely to see you all. Yep, Karen's shouting out there, click the notify me button on the anything. If there's anything you want and it's out of stock, you must click that notify me. You must, you'll be the first to know when it's back in stock. 
um, because sometimes I forget to put it on social media and I forget to tell Karen. Karen puts it on immediately for me, but it's just a, a but if you click that notify me, you will get the notification straight away before even I remember to tell everybody it's back in stock. So look here already. Now I'm just gonna get my focus on my cards. I mean, look at that. That is just well, let's that's done. In my, well, it's not, but I'm just gonna pop it under the front here. So let's get our second one. Now, the offcuts from that piece, I'm going to set with that card because the envelope is going to be coordinated as well. So I'm just tucking all of those there. So then we have the second one, which I've done a black matte and layer on. And then let's just grab the paper again. Now, if you do batch make or sell at fairs, this has got you totally covered. Oh, right, let's go with this one. So this one has this beautiful, it's like actually a, a boho poinsettia type style design on the left here. So when did they're at A6? So let's, let's just have a look, darling. My mat. So it's six tall and four wide. So when you fold it in half like that, like that, Wendy, six by four. There we go. So let's get this one. So I would like this detail on the left of this one. Can we see here? So I think this will look pretty on the left. So again, I'm just going to finger mark that one. I love this sort of craft. I really do. So Brenda says, um, question, question, how is Tom? What is he doing during the October week? Well, this morning we've been out um, walking. It actually overrun a little bit because we're playing this silly game. I mean, they are silly. Um, so he's, he's actually here now. He's having a cheese sandwich as we speak. Uh, but we'll be going back home later because I have a little bit of work to do, but I'm going to do it from home. And then tomorrow he's going to his friends and then Friday, Tom's going to his friends tomorrow and then his friends coming to us on Friday. So, you know, we'll try and make it so it keeps entertained. It's tough, let me tell you. So here we go, look, another instant card. We've really just got to add our sort of special touch, haven't we? So this is this one, but it's growing up so fast, guys, as you all know. You all see him sometimes on social media. <sighs> Proper like... When did that happen? And I, you, you all know I try and press that pause button, but it never happens. It's a fabulous Studio 3, isn't it? Just right. So I think maybe on our next card, we should go plain. Look, this is nice. This is a bit fancy. So I'm going to try and do four different ones, not all with focal points, to show you how we can chop it up. So I've done another, just with a black matte and layer, just kept it simple here. So let's mark this one off. I like these snowflakes in this bottom corner, but I do like that music at the top as well. Let's do that. It's a daisy. I don't know if anybody else feels like this sometimes. So sometimes we all lose our mojo, don't we? We absolutely do. Um, it happens to me more often than not these days. But I feel like my mojo's back. I feel like, you know, sometimes the, the pressure of um, doing TV and, you know, things like that, it sometimes pushes you to not want to craft. And that can happen to us all sometimes, but I really feel like I'm back. Does that make sense? It's been a hectic few weeks, but I really feel like, you know, I'm back in the love, I'm back in the swing, I know what's going on, um, and my creative energy at the moment is off the scale, I can't tell you. So that's the blue one, and then let's, there's four, four cards here, I'm going to be here all day, aren't we? And then last one, it is a note card set, it can't be a note card set with just two cards. So one more, oh gosh, um, let's go this one. Let's go this one. So again, I'm going to mark it on here. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think sometimes 
I put a little bit too much pressure on myself because I'm expected to be creative all the time and sometimes that doesn't help as well either, does it? Um, but I know when I'm back. I know when, you know, I'm back in, back in the moment. So I've got this one now. And look, that's that one with that detail. I mean, these cards are literally just speaking for themselves. I already, I mean, a sentiment in the centre, you're literally good to go out. So that's the four I have sort of like pre-planned. Whether it goes that way, I'm not sure. But let's just get all of our offcuts for each one. Because remember, we can interchange our offcuts as well. So Denise Rigatano, do you know when you're back on HSN yet? March, I think, geez. I, can't, I think it'll be March. And it's going to be a good one. Hopefully. But thank you so much for all of your support. I cannot thank you enough. It's been incredible. It was, um, it was hard work, but so worth it. And again, another bucket list moment. So let's just pop that up there. So these are then lovely sentiments. So it's got jolly, merry, Noel, joy, peace, bright. And it's got be and then and. So you can do... Holly and Bright, Be Merry, and things like that, which is quite cool. So, um, I haven't told Sarah that I'm using this. She did say I could have the paper, though. I didn't steal it, I promise. She's not. Like, now I can't get into this without breaking the packet. She's going to know I've been in. <laughs> I'm going to have to break it. Oh, she'll never know. I'll hide it under the counter. With rest of the stuff that's hidden under there. So let's grab some white card. Just a piece of white card here. So I've got my little machine. So shall we try and cut a few at the same time? So this is where your little handy sentiments come into play. So you don't need fancy, fancy. I'm literally got some pattern paper here, a die, a couple of punches, which are going to tart it up a little bit, hopefully. And then we're going to be good to go, I think. We'll add some sparkle. We'll add some dimension with our punches. Let me just see how wide my plates are. So who's got paper pads at home right now that are sat on a shelf, which are gorgeous, which they're not using? Who's guilty? Who's a collector? Who's bought this and actually not used it more to the point? Come on, come on. Let's get them used. So I'm just going to pop this white card onto my cutting plate here and let's get some of these dies cut. So I like the word peace. Did I say peace was on here? I hope it is. Yeah, I love the word peace for Christmas. So let's pop peace on here. Let's cut a few. Uh, jolly. Noel. Joy, I like the, I'm a bit of a traditional card maker. I do like Santas and Snowmen sometimes, uh, but I do like traditional. So let's go with these ones. Could I get another one on the bottom there? No, let's just leave that for now. So let's just pop this one through. This is just my little hand crank six inch machine which I always say to you is perfect for these sort of scenarios, I guess. But um, my other machine is still in the car. Denise has tons of pretty pets. Look at all the hands. Me, me, guilty. Oh, my gosh. Come on, guys. Come on. So I think I'm going to cut them all in white. I'll pop out the centres in a second. And then I think we'll pop them at... Um, we will cut them in black also. So we can get that nice drop shadow. Because our cards are quite plain, the black drop shadow will allow um, depth without the raised element of it. Okay, so let's just grab a piece of black here. So you're going to pretty much see how quick four cards come together. So cut all your card blanks. I should be waving scissors around. Cut all four card blanks at the same time, all of your sentiments, and then we can tart it up at the end. So I'll just pop this on here again. So I'm doing them again in black. 
I just better pop out those pieces though, hadn't I? Because it won't cut otherwise. Looks like somebody's had my pokey tool. Sarah! Did you see me there, like, studying? Somebody's had my pokey tool. I tell you, this place, I'm going to buy some screws. <laughs> Screw it all down. <laughs> oh, it's a good job I love them all. So let's cut these ones in black. We might not use the black, but it's an option, isn't it? Question, question. Will the time to grow vellum be back as I clicked the notify button a few months ago? It depends on how many's clicked it, Karen. I'll have to have a look on that one. All I will say to you is, without giving too much away, is we're doing lots of new. Lots and lots of new. So, oh, the J on that. The dot for the J is independent on both. Right. Oh, here we are, look. Don't forget your dots for your Js. Who's actually bought this set? I need to see your makes. Somebody inspire me. Come on. Come on. So let's just pop these back on here. There is no way I could ever tell Sarah that I haven't used this set. We'll not, we'll not tell her. But I mean, that is a whole lot of metal for £7, I believe. And if you get your 20% discount because you've got those savings, then you have got Christmas covered with that set if you haven't got any. Right. Shall we get creative? What we're going to do? <gasps> right, let's bring in our first card. So we have that lovely stag. It, this isn't going to need much else, is it? Right. I know what I'm going to do with this one straight away. Let's get some glue. Shh. Karen's telling me to shush. I know, I'm, I am being shushed. I'm being good, Karen, don't you think? Probably thinking, you are so not being good. I've just got a new glue here. So what I'm going to do with this one, I just like the image it's talking to me. So let's get this image here. And I'm just going to add some glue. Oh. <laughs> Come on. See, I was in such good spirit. Thanks for that. Let's just get rid of that. Let's do it again. Thanks, Cosmic Shimmer. Oh, it's quite runny. But basically, I'm just going around the edge. Wasting half of my glue here. Going around the edge. This amazing card. So this is just to give it a little bit of a lift. And we can't have a card without sparkle, can we? So just set that aside for now. And I'll just grab a clean piece, put that to the back, grab a clean piece. And then we need some sparkles. Oh, what sparkles shall we use? My goodness me, I've got so much. I'm going to go with... The chunkier one, which is this one, which is on the web. And do you know what? I'm going to leave this to one side. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to let that glue just settle. Just going to push this onto the back. That already looks gorgeous. I'm excited about this one. I might actually add some sparkle to it. I'm just going to set that aside while it dries. I don't know how long it takes to dry that this specific glue. So that's for that card. Let's bring in our next one. So we have this one now. So let's have a look what we've got going on. So we have some punches. We have some tags. Now this one's quite a cool one with the sort of tab design on here. If you have anything like these are available on the web, but if you don't, but if you do, um, I'm going to use a little bit of a tab on here. 
I always like to turn my punches upside down. This is like four cards in five minutes, and this gives you this lovely. Um, so cool. Quick and easy as well. So you can create like a tab so it looks like a book. How cool is that? So let's get something down here. Well, let's put this flat first. My goodness me, you have to be careful with that glue. I think I'm just going to put that behind there like that. Let's glue this behind. My gosh, you can tell I'm so not used to this glue, can't you? This behind here, so we've got this lovely tab look. Then we'll pop this one onto our card. See how it's got that lovely tab there? That's cool, doesn't it? Denise, any three? Sorry, I've totally lost track of the conversation there because of that glue. Any chance of 3D Christmas stencils? Um, they won't be any for this year now because our Christmas is done in the UK, Denise, but we have some for next year, yes. Absolutely. And then I think if we use our tab punch here, so for your tab punches, you've got sort of three designs widths on there 1.5 2.5 and 2 so i just need to make sure that my card stock is cut at that so i'm just moving to my guillotine here just to the side just for one second and then when you pop it inside here and push it in as far as it'll go and then you click it and you get this sort of lovely banner design on there as well Which looks quite cool. And then we have one of the words. Or two of the words. So you could do a drop shadow here. You see if you pop the pieces out, you get that lovely drop shadow. Oh, I had no idea what to do with that punch. Save it though, sweetheart, because we're going to be going back to our books. And it's a great tool for book pages and things like that and flaps and magnetise. So, you know, just, just um, because I've not had an opportunity really to show you them. Have I launched them a while back and not really touched them? So um, let's just pop this black behind. So if you ever need to sort of like um, enhance a sentiment or something, if you look at this one here, can you see now sort of like giving it that lovely drop shadow? So if we want to pop it on a card, we can absolutely do that. And it gives it that dimension on there. Okay, so let's glue this one. So, tiny bit of glue. And then we'll put this white one on top. And I just, I like to drop it down, but some people like to offset it to the right. I don't think there's any rules. I think it just what well, looks good really on the eye. And then this one here, I'm going to cut at the same width because it's the off cut. So 1.5 speed crafting this one. And then I'm going to bring my banner punch back in, pop it into my punch. As far as it'll go. And you get this look. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to stick that on there. Oof. Oh, Carol, great question. Great, great question. Thank you for the reminder, sweetheart. When is the Create Together Club? So I have to wait till everybody's got them. 
um, and when I'm satisfied, everybody's got them. And I know, I know some of you have been cheating because you even said it on social media. Couldn't resist, had to look, I love them. You are so naughty. If you are watching right now and you've cheated, you're going on the naughty step for half an hour. <laughs> Um, but yes, as soon as I'm satisfied, everybody's got them. I'll put a week's worth of inspiration in, as always. So please don't cheat. Please don't cheat. Because it spoils the fun. But I have kept the carbon footprint really low by sending you it all together. So don't cheat. Please don't cheat. So this has got peace on here. And then this one could do with um, some pads underneath, but I absolutely know I'm out of pads, so it's going to go flat. So I'm going to pop this off to the side here. I didn't cheat, Marilyn. Good girl. Good girl. Top of the class. And then on this one, I might actually lift the ends up on that one to make it look like it's a little bit 3D. And then on this one, we're going to use... See, what I'm doing here, all of the stuff that I use every day in my stash is on my trolley. So for this one, rather than chunky sparkle, we're going to go with stickles. And on this one, I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle to some of the leaves. I think more glue than sparkles coming out there. Oh no, it's, it's actually doing it. You could actually put a little wallet inside there and have it as a gift wallet as well. So let's just move that to the side to dry. That one still looks like it's drying. I'm not sure how long that one will take, but you know. So that's that one. And then the next one is the blue one. Now I'm thinking, for this one straight away twine and I have some now twine and everything is available on the web as well but I'm thinking maybe top to bottom yeah let's do top to bottom grab my tape pen So what I'll do is I'll do a giveaway for what the products that I've used in show today, okay? So if you don't see me for a week, it means Sarah's found me and, you know, put me under the patio. Um, so I'm going to give away. She won't mind. She's a superstar, I'm sure. So I'm just wrapping a little bit of twine around here. This is beautiful twine, and we've got it in all shades as well. But as always, you've probably got something like this in your stash already. But I am going to leave a bit of a tassel hanging on this one. So anybody who comments under this video, I do have quite a few giveaways to go back and recheck and pick names for because I have been doing a few giveaways, but I haven't actually announced the winners. So um, I will do it, I promise you. So for this one, I'm thinking if I could, that's not going to stick very flat, is it, without just one second. I need to treat myself to some more pads. I'm going to stick it flat anyway, but you will have to pad it if you're doing this card. So let's pop this onto here. I'll give that a chance to grab on there. This, this one is beautiful, this um, snowflake mixed in with some music design. 
that glue is quite fast grabbing as well so make sure you get it straight first time and then let's get this one onto our card if you have a bunch of note cards or card blanks get them all out cut all the matte layers cut all the words cut, punch some tags these are great fair fillers if you like to sell at a fair. Karen Bradley, question, question, are you getting the embossing folders with dies? You mean the ones that I took to HSN, Karen? The answer to that is yes. In a few weeks. So that's that. And then let's bring in our tab. So this is how cool it is. So I'm going to cut. Um, a two inch let's oh I might be able to get out of that actually so again off cut from the same I'm sorry I'm coming out of shot I'm just moving to my guillotine here so I'm going to do it at two and then I'm going to pop in here look into my punch so I haven't got a die cutting machine in sight which is nice for a change apart from my little one for my sentence so look I've got a beautiful tag tag absolutely gorgeous now I might actually incorporate you know this one as well so let's just cut this one too. I'm going to cut it at two. Mind you, one point, let's do a 1.5 on this one. Do you know why? Because then it'll sit nicely on top of our other, won't it? Now two. Push it all the way in. I don't want to ruin it. Oh, I wonder why it wouldn't go in. Why is it not going in, Tony? Is it because it's too thin? Let's try this end. Oh, still some blue card in there. again make sure my corners aren't killed yes absolutely <laughs> are you all excited for those might have to leave this it's not good i can't get it in because that piece of blue card stuck and i got my poker tool never mind are you all excited for the embossing folds and dies they are coming i promise you and i always say don't add on. i won't miss you out so don't I don't think I'm missing you out because I'm absolutely not. I'm just going to punch a white tag through here and just see if I can push that blue card out. There we go. That's fine. <laughs> Pushed it out. Oh, gosh. So here, look. And then... We could just do... well on that now i do need some pads these are totally flat cards but i do need some pads so make sure you 3d yours at home so i'm going to pop that one in there like that and then i'll line them up as if they're part of the same well here this is lacking a little snowflake so if you have a snowflake die you can absolutely do a snowflake die too and let me just have a look in this pad i am trying to be creative with small supplies here if you look at this one here This one, this is where you go. Oh, oh, I've just found that out. Look, I've got a piece here. Look at this. If I take this now, and this is just going to bring a pop of colour into what looks like something quite flat. So, my fussy cutting isn't great, 
But when it comes to paper pads like this, I'm okay with fussy cutting because the background is so soft and subtle that it really doesn't matter if I take it to the line or give it a border. I'm just, I'll just round that edge off. I'll take it down to there. And this is where you could just add that pop of colour. And then all I need now is some um, red diamantes for some berries. Where am I? Oh, let's have a look here. Look. I'm totally, totally having fun today. Really am. So I need some red ones. Have we got some red ones in my stash? I've got pink. Have we got blue? Have we got silver? Pink. Let's have a look what colour are these ones. Pink. Well, silver would look okay, but I would prefer red. Oh, they look quite nice, don't they? <laughs> Can you run to the shop and get me some red diamantes? <laughs> Gold? No. Pink? No. Pink, 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 pink. Right, let's pick a colour we can do. Let's do, what do we think to that gold? Denise Rigatano, isn't there supposed to be a subscription box for me soon? Denise, you don't miss a trick. Oh, I've got, let's do the silver ones on this one. I'm just going to do one, that's all. Um, Yes, it's all coming. It's all coming. I don't want to say too much, but you've got lots to get excited about. So I'm just going to pop this diamante up here. Pop that on there and then I'm going to glue this in place. And then up here, we can make a, a bow to stick on top, but I actually like the loose. I'm going to leave that as is because I think that's quite pretty. And I would go in and add back up the leaves. This is going to splurge all over now. And probably on Noel. Nice bow there as well, maybe, if you've got the time for that one as well. But that just sort of brings it together, push it up there a little bit. I don't want you to see all of that diamond. It's a bit big, but I'm happy for you to see a little bit of it. So let's move that one to the side. So that's one, two. That one's drying. Let's do our last one. Anyone else having fun? Didn't take long for it to become carnage, though, did it? Okay. It didn't take long at all. Right, I've got the word joy going on here. So I think what we're going to do with this one, you're all thinking, what's she going to do this time? I don't know. <laughs> right, so off the off cut of that one, let's bring in our banner and let's cut this one at 1.5. Like so, and then let's see if we can get a banner on each end here. Look, so can we see there. Double ended banner, look at that. How cool is that? Make sure the script's the right way up. And then we'll take some of our white card that we've got left over from before. And we'll just cut another piece here. I'm going quite random here, ladies and gents. Just make it a bit smaller.
but I'm liking that. I need a piece of black, which is here. It could actually look gorgeous on red to pick out the red in this picture, but I think you all get it. I really do. So I'm just going to pop this onto this piece of black and we'll trim this down. Just so it's got a nice little black border. And then we'll just pop this back in my guillotine. Is anyone crafting today at all? Then this can go in the middle of here, look. I'm going to stick this one into the middle of that banner. Let's get this card constructed. So black, color, now you could actually do this banner like so, or oh, I think I like the overhang. Obviously it wouldn't go in its envelope, so you'd have to make sure it fits within its envelope. In fact, let's do one side straight. There we go. This bit flat. And then we have Jolly and Joy. I quite like Joy. Let's go Joy. I'm not afraid of white space, but if you are, use a bigger sentiment. And it's just lacking something, so let me just find... Again, because the paper bit pad has that snip ability, I'm just going to take this design out of the base of here. Cut those leaves away and give them a pinch. That's just going to give us that little bit of dimension to stop it from being a little bit um, flat, too flat. Pop that under there like so. And then on these white elements here, I'm add some glue. Not all of it, because I don't want it to be like a sparkly hot mess. Take this one off. Set my stag to one side, and we'll bring this one in. that way in a second and then we have another obviously that's glue so you're going to see the white but it will dry another quick dimensional card so that's another one let's just get our stag put together look at that now now that that and you would i would probably put it on the tree as well but you know I mean, you could do 10 of these sparkler cards, all the same sort of thing, just a different image in this part here. Probably put some sequins on there as well. So let's just bring in... Cards. 
four cards. Very quickly though, you see all these, um, like these bits here? I've got these bits, I've got this bit, I've got these bits. If you have a tab punch, very quickly, um, sorry, not a tab punch, one of these. If you pop it in, see how you've got that lovely tail? Another one, let's do another one. Like so. Then if you bring in your envelope, all of these little wasty bits, let's just move that. See here? You can then begin to There is absolutely no way. So now I have a nice card that's going to go in a pretty decorated envelope. So how's that then? What do we think? Four cards in, what is it, half an hour have I been or have I been an hour? Let me just check that. An hour! My gosh. I said, do you know what? It'll not take me half an hour to make four cards. It's actually taken me an hour. But I have been talking, so I'm guilty of that. So there we go. Super easy. But if you do, as I always say, if you're making one card, make three, three card blanks, three mat and layers, three dies. And it's the same if you're painting one, three. You got all of it out, do three at the same time. So there we go. I will post a picture of these. So if you have this paper pad, you can maybe replicate or do something similar. But equally, Anything Goes Wednesday is more about encouragement, about using what you might have in your stash and creating some beautiful, quick, super easy cards using the papers that you may already have. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Something a little bit different. You know, I love paper and I'm absolutely finding my love with paper again. It's coming back and you're going to see that coming through stamps by me pretty much soon. So there we go. I hope you've had a lovely time. Don't forget, pop a comment below. I'll pick a winner for the die and the remaining paper pad that I didn't use. I might even pop a card in as well. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely afternoon stroke evening and I will see you over the weekend for our fabulous weekend over on Create and Craft. See you all then. Stay safe, stay cosy. As always, take care everyone. Bye.